Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so I've been wanting to build out this beach cruiser for a while. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you've seen me riding around this green machine here, but I haven't really talked about it much. So I've been wanting something to ride the sunset with Samantha, go out to the beach, do a little bar hopping, and of course, put the fishing poles on this bad boy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this thing out cheap, effectively, and to get the job done on a budget. And it's really pretty simple. So that's what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna show you how to build this thing out, what kind of you need, what to look for. So let's talk about beach cruisers and attaching fishing poles. Here we go, baby, here we go. All right, guys, so welcome to my channel. If you haven't met me before, my name is Jack. This is my world of Yak Motley. We do bikes, fishing, travel, all kinds of fun stuff. But today we're building out the beach cruiser because I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I picked this bike up brand new. Okay, I know y'all gonna hate on me, but, but my Panama Jack died. I got that one for 35 bucks, but the tires popped and the tires were worth more than the bike. So I said, I'm just gonna splurge on getting a new bike. So I picked up this Jameis uh, Boss Cruiser 7 Speed at the bike shop. And really they didn't have anything that day that was 7 Speed with the big frame. Big frame was one speed. This one's like a mid frame. It's like a, like a medium sized frame. Still a little sporty, but yet it cruises. But it fits me. I'm fine with it. You gotta get one that fits you. But you want the laid back approach, okay? I got the big wheels, big fat wheels, and the really thick seat, and that thing is spring loaded. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. It's spring loaded. You just kinda, you don't even feel it. First thing I got to put on there was the back rack, which allowed me to, you know, put things on the back, put a crate on the back, which that's what we're gonna do today. So the first thing you need is the actual rack on the back where you can start to build out your bike. Now, I haven't put a front rack on this bike for a reason, just really didn't want that many things attached to it, and I wanted things that I could take off when I want to take it off. Because we do a lot of biking on the beach, downtown, camping, and sometimes I don't want a rack on it, so I want everything to be detachable. The back rack is consolidated enough on the back, which allows it to still be able to be transported fairly easy. For my build out, first thing you need, and I'm trying to do this before the rain gets in, and it's a coming, let me tell you. So, I want to be able to detach this, so I'm going to use a set of gear ties. And I'll link these in the description box below in case you're wanting to do this because this will allow you to be detachable. You could also do this with bungee cords and get really weird with it or zip ties if you want to make it permanent. Zip ties are easy, like three or four zip ties. This crate is not going anywhere. So next thing you need is a milk crate. I got this thing off the side of the road. It has been sitting in my garage for years and it was nasty dinged up color as of a few nights ago where I went out back and I painted it with some old like Rust-Oleum chalk paint and now it's pretty and ready to go and y'all don't hate because I think honestly that to this this crate is gonna make my bike ugly enough that nobody's gonna want to steal it. We'll get into that later with bike locks okay because around here we got some ninjas of the night and you leave that thing too long and you ain't gonna have a bike old school style you know so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna attach it to the back okay guys so i used the gear tie to attach it why well one is i want to be able to take it off and put it back on without having to cut a bunch of zip ties now the cheap easy way to attach this thing permanently is a set of zip ties and when I figure out if I'm going to keep it on there or not and kind of how the rhythm's going to be, I'm going to probably use zip ties. But these gear ties offer a pretty cool solution to getting it to stay. And as you can see, it's pretty tough and it stays on there pretty good. You just got to make sure that it's twisted down pretty good. This is a 64 inch gear tie. Now you can use shorter ones and just go like across and across, but you got to go left, right, and north, south on the crate to get it to stay in place on every direction. Now we gotta cut the rod holders. So I've tried rod holders a couple of different ways. I tried attaching them to the actual frame of the rack and they just slide around. And when you play with it for a while, you can get them to stop. But they kept scraping my tires and I would bump them and when they were traveling to and from in the back of the truck, they'd kind of spin around. I figured this wasn't the right answer and I wanted to be able to take them off too. 
portability of coming and going and not having to have them stuck to my bike. So this is how we're doing it. So I've pre-marked these bad boys. Now I just gotta cut them. It's gonna be simple. This is just regular PVC pipe. So now I'm just gonna attach it with some zip ties and rock and roll. All right, so that was simple. Now all I gotta do is cut these zip ties off of here and I'm about ready. Put some fishing poles in this thing. Also, gear ties work pretty doggone good. Gotta have you some bungees. Gotta have them. All right guys, so if you're looking to take a cooler with you on this bad boy, I suggest like a soft cooler because it'll fit in the crate and you'll still be able to put a good size red in there, bass, lots of brim, whatever kind of smaller fish than like a 26 inch red, his tail will almost stick out of this. I mean, this way. Put a couple frozen water bottles in there, rock and roll, put your beer in there, you'll be fine for a few hours, a morning. Got your backpack, which you can have all your tackle in or just your beach kicking apparel, extra stuff, sunglasses, suntan lotion, stuff like that. You can either throw it on your back or you can sit it in the crate because the crate's pretty big. If you need any more space than that, you might want to look at getting you a front basket, which I haven't decided on yet. I ordered one for Samantha because she doesn't have a back one right here, but then you're getting really heavy. And then every time you transport this thing, like I was saying, with making this detachable, you're going to have a basket on the front. Bike rags can get crowded, but that's up to y'all. This is pretty good for Navy Point because I'm only going down the road from the house and uh, I'm just going to roll with it. Last thing you got to have is a cup holder because you ain't no beach rider without a cup holder gotta have a cup holder on your beach cruiser. I'm gonna link it down below. And the last thing I promise is a lock. Don't ever get a cable lock because they can cut through these things with wire cutters. I just happen to have one because it was on my kayak. And I think I'm gonna do another video on bike locks because these things are really worthless. And the beach is 100% full of bike thieves. Byron got his stolen last year. Came in and out of the bar, she gone. Make sure you do it with a chain or like a D-lock. Those cables are only good for about 10 minutes. Also don't hate on the yard mess because we're putting a screen in porch and that was the brick from around the patio. Just saying, hasn't been hauled off yet. So a big part of this is it can't be too heavy. This setup can't be too heavy because it gets top heavy and then the bike wants to fall over. The kickstand is just not gonna hold up all that weight. So you gotta keep it simple. You gotta keep it simple stupid. You know what I mean? The cold kiss method. So this is simple. And I can still put a beer in the cup holder and it won't tip over probably want to set it up like this with the wheel kicking out this way because if you do it the other way it'll tip right over. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this. This is how you live the beach life. This is how you get your beach cruiser ready to go. Head down the water to fish. We haven't been fishing in the new neighborhood. Jack wanted to test out his uh, crate. See the poles? <laughs>